Yeah. Oh, I hope you're feeling full of brains today because I am bursting with new ideas for creations that we can make together. Earlier on today, you see, Drago snuck up on me and made me jump into the air. Oh, she is a cheeky monster. Although, it did help us come up with a really cool idea. Are you ready to hear what it is? Well, we are going to make a drum roll, please. A brrrr, a rocket! Now, to make your super duper trooper looper scientific rocket, oh, that is a mouthful. We need to make sure we have everything we need on Drago's list. So, Drago, what do we need? Some coloured card, an empty plastic bottle, a cork, a pump with a needle adapter. This is very important. Colour pencils or pens, stickers and decorations, some sticky tape or glue, some scissors, and of course, your hands. You may need a grown up to help you too with some of the trickier parts. Now we need to make the fins of our rocket to go on the side, just like a real rocket. So I'm going to do this by taking this lovely piece of purple card. Now I've chosen purple because it reminds me of space, but you can choose any colour you want, like blue or red or even your favourite colour. Now take a pencil and we're going to start by drawing a big triangle like this. There we go. Ta-da! Oh, and don't forget to add a little tab on the side too because you'll need that to stick it onto your bottle later. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Now, all we need to do is cut out our triangle. So I'm going to use a pair of snip, snip, scissors. Oh, but be careful not to cut your hair with these. Also, if you're not feeling too brave, you can always ask your grown-ups to help you as well. But because I'm feeling particularly brave, I'm going to do it all by myself today. And there we go. Ta-da! There we go, there's a fin for our rocket. Now we need two more fins, but I tell you what you can do, cheeky monsters. You can take the one from earlier, put it onto the paper like this, and draw around it again like a template. And then you'll have three. And they should look just like this. There we go, we've got one, two, three. Would you look at that? We need another piece of coloured card. So today I've chosen blue. Now you only need one half, so just cut the other half off. Put that down there for later. And then we need to decorate our card. And I've already done this with a lovely big cheeky monster moon. Now for the tricky part. And you may need a grown up to help you. We are going to fold this into a cone shape like this. Make sure it's nice and thin. There we go. And then we're going to secure it down with some sticky, sticky tape. There's one. And there's two. Perfect. And now we have our three fins and the nose of our rocket. Try making your own rocket at home. And if you want to learn how to launch your rocket into space, check out the My Cheeky Monster website to learn how. Now, I'm going to head outdoors and launch this rocket myself, but be sure to join me again for some more cheeky creations. And remember, everyone has a cheeky monster. Which one are you? Until next time, goodbye, cheeky monsters! Ooh, hey! <laughs>
colour in her pink tongue. And then finally, fill her name to match. If you want to colour Violet too, why not check out our My Cheeky Monster website to find out how. And there we have it! How to make a Rocky mask. Take a bright blue piece of card and draw the outline of Rocky's face and eyes. Then ask a grown-up to help you cut this out with a pair of scissors. Remember to cut out the eye holes too. Take another piece of blue card of the same colour and draw Rocky's ears and hair. When you are happy with them, you can cut these out too. Almost there! Next, using light blue foam, cut out the inside of Rocky's ears. These are the same shape as before, but just a little smaller. Then cut out his eyebrows and cheeky monster spots. Cut out his teeth from a white piece of foam and finally, his cheeky green tongue! Draw on Rocky's nose and mouth using a blue felt tip pen. When you have done that and you have all of your parts, you can start sticking them on. Using a glue stick, attach Rocky's spots, eyebrows, tongue and teeth. Turn your mask over, glue his ears together and stick them on to the back of your mask along with his hair. Using a piece of masking tape, attach a lollipop stick. And there you have it, your very own Cheeky Monster Rocky Mask. We're all cheeky monsters. Colour in Cheeky Monster Spike. Begin with colouring Spike's body with yellow, orange and a darker orange. Be careful to stay within the lines. Add yellow to the butterfly's wings and purple to his cheeky purple spikes. Continue to use the purple for the rest of the butterfly. This is pretty tricky as it's quite small, so take your time. Colour in his name to match using the same colours as before. to colour in Spike too, why not check out our My Cheeky Monster website to find out how. And there we have it! Ta-da! How to make a glitter mask. Take a light piece of blue card and draw out the glitter's face. Then cut this out using a pair of scissors. Ask your grown-up to help you with this part. Don't forget to cut out his eyes too, otherwise you won't be able to see through the mask. Next, cut Glitter's teeth and cheeky monster spots from a white piece of foam. Then more spots and a spike from green foam. And then finally a star from a piece of white foam. When you have all of your parts, you can start sticking them on. Using a glue stick, attach his spots, star and spike onto the front of his face. Then turn your mask over and stick on his teeth in a neat row at the bottom of your mask. Draw on his nose with a light green pen. Then attach a lollipop stick with masking tape. And there you have it, your very own Cheeky Monster Glitter Mask. We're all cheeky monsters. Hey Cheeky Monsters, it's me, Tanya. <laughs> you gave me a bit of a fright. <laughs> I'm glad you made it though. You're here just in time to get creative. Why don't we make our very own wand just like Cheeky Monster Violet? Okay then, let's...
let's get started. To make Violet's wand, we will need a piece of card, colored paints and decorations. You can use crayons too. A pencil, a pair of scissors, lollipop sticks, mmm, some sticky glue, masking tape, lots of glitter, just like cheeky monster glitter, and of course, your hands. You may need a grown-up to help you with some of the trickier parts too. Now we have everything we need, we can begin to make our wand. Take your pencil and make one straight line across the page like this. Then all you have to remember is to go down, up, down, up. Let me show you. Down, up, down, up. Okay, now we need to cut our star shape really carefully with a pair of scissors. You know, scissors can be a little bit mischievous, so it's also a good idea to ask your grown-ups for help with this part. Ah, there you go! One perfect little star. Now we have the front of our wand topper. We need to make the back. I'm going to use the same shape I just cut out and draw around it. until you make two, like I did with these ones earlier. <laughs> All we need to do now is decorate them, which can only mean that it must be time to get Cheeky Monster Messy! <laughs> okay, this is my favorite part. Before we start though, don't forget to lay down some paper, card, or newspaper underneath so that you don't get monster messy everywhere. Um, you can use anything you like to color in your wand, such as coloring pencils, pastels, or anything you like. Today, I'm going to use some purple poster paint. Be right back. Ha! <laughs> I am using purple because violet is purple. And also, it's my favorite color. Okay, eh, ready. Look at that! You only need to paint one side though because the other side is going to be glued together. Now, don't put the paints away just yet because we have one more thing we need to paint and that's the handle of our wand. And for that, we need two lollipop sticks like these. I painted mine white earlier. Let me show you. I'm going to secure them together with a little bit of double-sided tape. Ooh, looking good. Good job so far, cheeky monsters. <laughs> now it's time to get sticky on our decorations. So I'm going to get these stars I prepped earlier. Don't these look lovely? Cheeky Monster Glitter has let me borrow some of his sparkles too, so I can sprinkle on top. And it's time to create a little bit more monster mess. <laughs> Let's start by gluing over each star shape. Done. Now the last thing I'm going to add is some glitter. <sighs> Brilliant. I'm really happy with that and I think Violet would be too. Don't you think? Actually, I think I'm going to add one extra star. This one right in the middle. There we go. Oh, yes, now it's looking great. But it's all in separate parts. So the last thing we need to do is put our wand together. So flip one of your stars and place the wand handle on the top, just like this, so it's poking out. Then tape the handle onto the star with some sticky tape that I have here. There we are. Now I'm going to glue the other star shape on top. Make sure that it all lines up. Ta-da! It is complete! Our wand 
is looking great. Hey, why not try making one of these yourself sometime? Now, I'm off to find Violet to show her what we made today. Be sure to join me again soon for some more cheeky creations. And remember, everyone has a cheeky monster. Which one are you? Until next time, goodbye! <laughs> Colour in Cheeky Monster Drago! Start by colouring her hair in with a blue pen and her tummy and wings with yellow. With a green pen, fill in her dots and use the same yellow as before to draw a yellow line around her glasses. With a slightly darker green pen, colour in the rest of her body. Careful not to go over the lines! Oh, and don't forget to put the lid back on at the end, otherwise your pen might dry out! Colour her clipboard with a grey pen. And then highlight the test tube with a luminous green and yellow. Now finally, colour in her name to match. Use the yellow, blue, green and darker green pen to do this. We're nearly there. One last bit! And there we have it! If you want to colour in Drago too, why not check out our My Cheeky Monster website to find out how! Take a bright orange piece of card and draw the outline of Spike's face and eyes. Your mask shape carefully using a pair of scissors. You can ask a grown up to help you with this part. Oh, and remember to cut the eye holes too so you can see through. Then, using some white foam, cut out the shape of Spike's horns and teeth. Spike is famous for his purple spikes, so cut these out from a piece of purple foam. eyebrows from light orange foam. When you have all of your parts, you can start sticking them on. Using a glue stick, attach Spike's eyebrows, nose horn, spikes, horns and finally teeth to your mask. Draw on his nose using an orange pen, attach a lollipop stick and your Spike mask will be complete. Colour in Cheeky Monster Rocky! Take a light blue pen and colour the inside of his ears. Don't forget his green tongue. Then with the same blue pen, colour in his eyes, eyebrows and dots. Use a red pen for his spikes and tummy stripes. Use a darker blue pen for the rest of his body. Try to keep inside the lines. Once you have completed Rocky's body, then colour in his name to match. If you want to colour in Rocky 2, why not check out our My Cheeky Monster website to find out how. How to make a violet mask. Take a piece of purple card and draw the outline of Violet's face and eyes. Then using a pair of scissors, ask a grown-up to help you cut out your shape 
Not forgetting to cut out the eye holes too. Next, take a light piece of purple foam and draw out her cheeky monster spots. Then cut them out. Draw her smile on a dark purple piece of foam and cut this out too. Cut out her eyebrows and chin from a lighter piece of purple foam. Her tiara horns and teeth from a white piece of foam. Nearly there. The star of her tiara from a blue piece of foam. And finally her tongue. When you have all of your parts, you can start sticking them on. Using a glue stick, attach Violet's mouth, spots, eyebrows, chin, teeth and tongue to the front. Then turn your mask over and glue on her horns and tiara. Add eyelashes and attach a lollipop stick to the bottom using masking tape. And there you have it! Your very own Cheeky Monster Violet Mask! Oh! Hey there Cheeky Monsters! It's OB here! <laughs> I was just playing with this bouncy ball that Rocky gave me and it got me thinking. Have you ever noticed that whenever you throw something into the air, it always comes back down? I wonder why that is. Hmm. Can you hear that noise, cheeky monsters? Whoa! Whoa! What is that? Oh, it's just a little buzzing bee! <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Bee! <laughs> now wait just a monster minute. That's strange. When I throw the ball, it falls. But a bee can just hover there in the air without ever falling. How buzzingly bizarre! <laughs> oh, that hovering bee has given me a brilliantly cheeky idea. Why don't we make a hovercraft? Drago and I make them all the time for our scientific experiments. And I can show you how to make your very own hovercraft. To make your hovercraft, you will need an old CD, but make sure it's one that no one listens to anymore. A pop-top cap from a water bottle, a balloon, a hot glue gun. You'll need a grown-up to do this part for you. Some acrylic paint, and of course, your hands. First thing we need to do is put down some paper. That way we won't make a mess on the table. Then we're gonna grab ourselves our CD and our bottle cap. We just need to make sure that the lid of our cap is pushed all the way down, just like that. Now we're going to take our CD and we're going to paint it to look like a bumblebee, just like our friend Mr. Bee from earlier. So let's grab our paintbrush and we'll start off with the yellow stripes, I think. Oh, yellow, <laughs> just like my t-shirt. Okay, mm, here we go. So you want to make sure that you try to get the lines as straight as possible for your stripes. There we go. You know, I think yellow is one of my favourite colours. What you do, you want to get as, as many stripes as you can on there, but make sure you leave space for your black stripes. Otherwise, it won't look like a bumblebee. There we go. I think I can get another one in there. Perfect. Now I think it's time just to add our black stripes. So we'll grab another paintbrush and we'll paint in between. Oh, coming along quite nicely, I think. Once you've finished painting it, all you have to do is leave it to dry. And then once it's dry, it will look something like this. 
Now, as you can see, I have stuck my bottle cap to the top of my CD. I used a hot glue gun, but you can use any super strong sticky glue. Just make sure you get a grown-up to do that bit for you. Now, the next thing we need to do is blow up a balloon. So, let's go. <laughs> than it looks. I think I need it to be a bit bigger than that. Like this. <laughs> now once we've blown it up, all we need to do is put the end of our balloon over the top of our bottle cap. There we go. Just like that. Now, all we need to do is test it out just to make sure it works. Are you ready? Now, all we have to do is lift our bottle cap and watch it hover gently across the table. Here we go. That was great! Hovering around just like our friend Mr. B. <laughs> <laughs> Why not try making your own hovercraft at home? You could even decorate it like your favourite cheeky monster. <laughs> I'm going to find Drago and show her our newest creation. But be sure, get it, be sure, <laughs> to join us next time for some more cheeky creations. And remember, everyone has a cheeky monster. Which one are you? Until next time, cheeky monsters, bye, bye. We're all cheeky monsters! Start by colouring in Glitter's tummy, spots and spikes with a mint green pen. Then with an aqua pen, colour in the rest of his body. Careful to stay within the lines. Oh, and don't forget his tail. Colour in the star with a pale yellow pen, along with his cheeky monster hands and feet. Next, colour in his name to match using the same pens as before. Now for the cheeky part. Using a glue stick and a paintbrush, sprinkle light blue glitter all over Glitter's body to make him look extra sparkly. Not forgetting his hands and feet. Lift off the excess glitter and there you have it. If you want to colour in glitter too, why not check out our My Cheeky Monster website to find out how. How to make a Drago mask. Take some green card and draw out Drago's face. Then using a pair of scissors, cut out around her face and eyes. Remember to ask a grown-up to help you with this part as it can be a little tricky. Next, make Drago's glasses by cutting out two large connecting circles from a yellow piece of foam. Cut out her hair from blue foam, her eyebrows from green foam, her cheeky monster spots from a lighter green foam, and her horn and teeth from white foam. When you have all of your parts, you can start sticking them on. Using a glue stick, attach her glasses, eyebrows, cheeky monster spots, and horn. Then turn your mask over and glue on her hair and teeth. Draw on her nose with a green pen, then using masking tape, attach a lollipop stick to the bottom. And there you have it! Your very own Cheeky Monster Drago Mask! We're all Cheeky Monsters! 
And if you want to join in with more cheeky monster creations after this video, why not subscribe to our My Cheeky Monsters channel?